Right, so the question is, uh, some companies pay very high amount of dividend, uh, retaining very little profit into the business. Some companies pay very little dividend and retain a very high part of the profit into the business. And the question is, out of these two, which is a better option? Now, remember friends, in principle, in principle, the per what is the purpose of a business? The purpose of a business is to create value on a continuing basis. A on continuing basis, sustaining basis in an increased manner. Meaning what? Meaning, companies should make more and more and more and more profit year after year. When can that happen? That can happen only when the company will be adding more assets, going for diversification, modernization, expansion. Now, if a company has to engage in modernization, diversification, expansion, the company will need money. So if the company will need, will need money, where, the, where will this money will come? This money will come from two sources. Number one, it will come from the internal accruals of the business. And number two, from the borrowings from outside. Now, obviously, if the purpose of a business is to create more value year after year, what is the better option? The better option is to pay less dividend and put more money back into the business so that you are strengthening the business by increasing the assets by doing modernization, expansion and diversification. So that is the answer in principle. So in principle, if you ask me, I would prefer to put my money into a company which is paying less dividend and redeploying more funds into the business, thereby increasing size of the business, which ultimately is good for me because ultimately who is the owner of the business? I as the shareholder is owner of the business. Now the second question, whether a company which is paying very, very high dividend and retaining very little profit into the business. Is that company is also good? Remember, that is the beauty of life. That, can, that company can also be good. It will depend on the situation. Meaning what? Meaning, you are into a business where the economy is in a bad shape. So there is no demand. There is no, no scope for any expansion. There is no scope for any diversification. There is no scope for any, any modernization. Any money that you will uh, put into the capex will only put you in trouble because your money will go down a big hole, will not give you any return. So in a situation like this, if a company is paying high amount of dividend and less retaining lesser amount of the profit into the business is also a good decision. So please remember the decision will depend on the situation in which you are. I hope that answers your question. Thank you, sir.